Now the question is, which side of the blanket do you want up? White side or black side? White side up installation allows the property owner to see the placement and allows for greater success when laying multiple blankets side by side. Black side up gives the appearance that there is nothing in the water. Determining which side up you want affects how the blanket is positioned for the installation. If you want the white side up in the water, the plastic material must lay forward of the rebar on the back of the boat. Then the shoreline rope is attached to the top yellow handle. If you want the black side up in the water, the plastic lays aft of the rebar. Again, the shoreline rope is attached to the top yellow handle. After determining the side that you want up in the water, Lay the blanket on the stern of the boat. Now hand the shoreline rope to your helper or attach it to something on the shore. Once in the boat and ready to install, tie the buoy rope to the bottom yellow handle. Make sure you always take the buoy with you. As you row out, have the shoreline helper stand in the correct place and give you some direction. Now row the boat out. The blanket will play itself off the stern of the boat and float on top of the water slightly. As air escapes, the blanket will gently fall to the lake bottom. The person on the boat must secure the buoy rope at all times and give some tension through rowing to keep the blanket in position as it sinks. It is always a good idea to go a little further out with the blanket and then bring it back in towards shore using the shoreline rope. This technique tightens the blanket, minimizing the billowing of the plastic between the ribs. After the blanket sinks to the bottom, which takes two to five minutes, the buoy can be attached to the buoy rope. Make sure to leave a little slack in the rope when attaching the buoy. Also, the buoy rope is about 12 feet long, so in shallower waters, you will need to tie off the excess rope. Back on land with the blanket down on the lake bottom. The shoreline rope should be used to tighten the blanket by pulling it in a few feet. Then you can tie the shoreline rope to something on the shore or you can remove it. You're done. Well, not exactly. You will need to periodically check the blanket, making sure that it's still in position. Storms and water activities can move the blanket if severe enough. So we always recommend that the shoreline rope be attached to something, just in case. Next is the walk-in installation. In areas that the max depth of water is less than four feet deep and you are willing to get into the water, you can just walk it in. But we do recommend that blankets are installed in a minimum of two feet of water and that in shallow areas, there can be very little activity to disturb the blanket. Okay, so we pick up the blanket and walk it to the water's edge. Turn around and face the shoreline. In this case, we are installing the white side up. Attach the shoreline rope to the bottom yellow handle and push it under the blanket to your helper, or you can stake it to the ground. Attach the buoy rope to the top handle, grab the buoy and the buoy rope and walk it out into the water. The blanket's ribs will fall off and into the water and start to sink to the lake bottom. When you have reached the last rib, let it fall to the bottom, then tie the buoy to the buoy rope. Make sure the excess rope is attached to the line so it is not a problem. Again, pull in the shoreline rope to eliminate excessive billowing between the ribs.